Okay, Daddy Freeze, how are you? Do you remember me from UI? No. How are you? Okay. That must have been anyway. ages ago. Ages ago. What's your name? Ago. Okay. My name is um, Fadi from UI. I wanted to talk Sorry, about the Legal Life Fair. I studied English and law. You remember when we used to meet at the Adeli Big Base? Don't worry. And you remember our name? Oh, our name. Yes, 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 yes. yes. We yes, always meet with yes. your family then. Yeah. Yes. Anyway, that's a while ago. So I'm actually a lawyer, and uh, this is my first life on another person's platform. I mean, I was so taken aback about the DNA, and I was really very pissed. Um, first of all, before we start talking about anything, we need to know the legal perspective of this DNA. If you go and ask your mom, she will tell you the DNA is not admissible under any nigerian law or western culture law what the law in nigeria says even i'm talking from the u.s you cannot bring up a dna issue in a marital affair especially when the man has accepted the child and has died has under the law that that the man passed, i'm sorry yeah mm -hmm. i'm sorry under the law if anybody passes do you understand that child is legally the child of the parents? Even if somebody brings out a child from outside the wedlock, according to law, that child is your child. According to the Nigerian law, go and read Duru versus Duru or Ibiachi versus Ibiachi. Any child born into a marriage within the subsistence of that marriage is the legal child of that marriage when Mobad was now living hold on, hold on hold on hold on let me let me question you a little bit so yes if i marry this beautiful girl here that is called the uh, natural gambia rita gambia she can't go meet her ex her ex, mm -hmm. ex won't give her belly mm -hmm. now me get the picking yes you know, this is not sentimental. Just go back law. home and ask your mom. Forget go what back home and ask say. your mom. I'm not the one that did the law. From any judge. Uh, let me now tell you, that's how it is. When all of us went to law school, let any lawyer come online okay, now and get this. Collect out from you, sir. Judge, that is the law in the high court, in the appeal court, and the Supreme Court. That's why I'm giving you the for my house now. So, so, Daddy Freeze, let me go ahead. This is not about, you know what? Let's talk about facts. No, go and yeah, do your I legal research. This we is also not need about to understand me. that. Hold on. I also have a problem I am not with the, the law, Nigerian Daddy legal Freeze. system. Wait. There are some things that make no sense. Uh -huh. what, this thing that but you have said. But until that law sorry, changes, no, that sorry, is sorry, the law. Sorry. I'm asking a question. I, I'm sorry. The fact, because I'm very aware of where we got our legal system from, from the British people. I yeah. know the Igbo culture has something similar to that. Yoruba, no go collect down for your hand, do. Uh, it's not about what you want to it's collect. Not, it is about the law. Is, there are things that are in the okay, law that don't can, 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 can you just let me explain? Can you just let me explain? I understand you don't agree. Explain. So, what is the goal of any court or the law is to mm. do everything in the best interest of the child. The law is not sentimental about you. Yes, the law understands the rights of everybody. That a father has the right to train his own child. But let me tell you something. The law does something for public policy reasons. And, and let me tell you, in as much as there is a parent in that marriage that that child came from, the law is not ready to treat an innocent child that has no fault to throw that child onto the streets. There are enough orphans on the streets. The, uh, the court has not taken care of them. There are a lot of people. Do you know what it will cost in the nation? Do you know how much crime will be on earth? Even the fact that they've not done the DNA, there is already a lot of crime. And let me tell you the importance of this. A, a child that is born into that marriage, they believe the child is innocent. It is not the fault of the child for the child to suffer for anything of the adult. 
It is the parents that misbehaved in that marriage. It is either the mother or the father that went outside the marriage, not the child. So why should the child suffer? At least one of the parents is a legal parent in that marriage. And according to the law, that parent is subsistent enough to take care of that child. So when you are saying your marriage vows, all of you just go before the church and before the Lord. All I have, I give to you. All that I do, I share with you. You are saying vows. This is not sentiment. Now, Next time before hold, you hold on a marriage, second. Hold on, hold on. I think you are missing the point of the DNA. The DNA here, not, hold not, on, hold okay. on. The DNA here is not to establish the legitimacy of the child as regards to taking care of the child and inheritance but rather to establish a motive a possible Thank you. motive i was about to talk yes yeah. to have a hand in his buying and so yeah. as to absolve the wife even though i believe that whether the child is biologically his or not the child must be taken care of by his estate. However, to absolve the wife, there might be okay. a need for the DNA. Hold on. Because if oh. we are talking about establishing a motive. I heard you. So, so that the woman can say, ah, me, oh, see my hands are clean. No, I don't have anything. I don't have a motive to do anything to this guy. You understand what I'm telling you? I, the child is really I'm listening to you. So, in that regard, the DNA might, whether or not the DNA test <clears throat> comes as a match for him or not. However, you are talk talking of inheritance and how to take care of the child. You are not talking about a motive here. So, let Rita Gambia say something before we come back to no. Rita. Go, let uh, me just respond. Here. I'm leaving right now. Oh, let me, auntie, let let me speak here. now. We've heard you. We've heard you, and actually, I do agree with what you're saying based on law, because clearly you're a lawyer. So we're going to defer to your expertise. I'm not a lawyer. I don't think DF is a lawyer. So I do understand. And I also understand in practice, that no, might that be modulated a bit because we've got culture as well as we've got the law. And you and I know that each tribe in that country called Nigeria will exert its own control, its own practices, um, you know, but let's not even go there. Now, thank you, dear, for bringing that, because I wanted to say something. If you ask me, ordinarily, I would have been saying what this lady is saying, even though I'm not a lawyer, I don't know about the legal aspect. But that probably would be the sentiment that I was saying, ah, but you guys are distracting us. Why DNA? However, I sat down after watching something, and I thought about it. Do you know what? Why are we talking about two different DNAs? The DNA, some people are really, really upset about that. I probably will be upset about as well because you're distracting us. You're, 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 you're insulting the family, I mean, the wife, the memory of Mobad, that's his son, da, da, da. Is the DNA that belongs to the family. That's their business. There's a DNA that, that might be needed, might, because it's the prerogative of the police. If the police come to the conclusion that um, based on certain, you know, so-called, you know, footage, or, or audio recordings that people are claiming is the couple fighting. People say it's one minute. I agree. It's not true. Taken out of context. Whatever it is, but because it's a, an investigation, this is a criminal, or probably would be. Let me not say it is because I don't know if they've agreed. Assuming this is a criminal investigation, the police will have to, will have to, and family, this is not UK. I'm talking about Nigeria. The police will then decide, actually, let's look into the wife as well. We, we, we just want to be sure we want to clear her name in clearing her name they might decide to ask themselves what is the motive if at all this woman will ever be considered uh, uh um, responsible for this we have to find a motive because for you to do something it's got to be a motive so why would i want to take this man's life what is my reason so they will want to clear her name in clearing her name they'll say hmm, what could it possibly be money um were they fighting was that you know and that might bring them to say, but hang on, we have heard, even though we don't know it's true, people are claiming that this might not be his child. Is that why they fought? The dear, then the police will say, okay, I don't want that to distract me. Let me clear that out and take it off. They would then ask for a DNA, do it. And once they see the baby, they say, no, nah, I can't be that. Let's look for something else. 
they clean it out and then they can continue and face what they need to face. So I think really and truly, you see this DNA part, there's one that is purely sentimental, emotional, belongs to the family, none of my business. I don't even need to know the result. It doesn't concern me. That's their business. They want to share money. They want to share land, belongs to them. But there's one that the police might ask for. And if they do ask for it, they are within their rights to ask for it. And we should forget about women's rights. I also should forget about being offended. Oh, excuse me. How dare you say that's not my husband's baby? That's not the point. This is a criminal investigation. Rule it out and be done with it. Mm. All right. Can I uh, respond now? Yes, respond. So please, this is, I don't want anybody to be taking it personal. My position here is just to come and tell you what the law is. And there is no law. There's something called the supremacy of the Constitution. And if, if you want to do anything, madam, whatever your sentiments are, they are not permissible under the law. There's something under the evidential, evidential um, rule, rule of law. If your evidence is not going to be admissible, you cannot tender it. There's no law court that is going to do anything that is not going to be in the best interest of the child. So just yeah. because you want to clarify, can I finish, please? You want to clarify yeah, the motive. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, want to put that life, that child. We already life. told you we defer to your oh, legal yeah, expertise, I madam. Understand. Can we I know you're a lawyer. Know. We, we agree understand. with you. I just you keep to talking about the legal. But we heard you the first time. You explained thoroughly, and, we, okay. I, and I said to you when I started. No, I actually no, agree with you. No, you're not allowing me to. Did you hear? Let you hear me say that there are two things. You hear me say that there are two things. Can you hear me? I agree with you. Mind you, I agree with you. Please don't use the bad word. It's not about sentiments. I'm not Mobat's sister. I'm not his mother. So there's no sentiment. All of us are just Nigerians. We're not related to Mobat. So don't. It doesn't matter by US. Madam, please, please, please. It's not fair to suggest that some people are sentimental when you can see that they're not being sentimental. Please, madam, I want to clarify something with people talking here. I was first a lawyer in Nigeria. I studied from the University of Lagos, Nigeria. My LLB is from Nigeria. Before I had my second degree, uh, uh, legal degree in the US, LLM. So people talking here that I say, madam, US lawyer. No, I didn't get my legal degree from the U.S. I started from Nigeria. And that's why I'm telling you, I'm not against your position. I have my sentimental reasons too. But I just came here to, we shouldn't be talking and miss about things that we argue blindly and we sentimentally, even like Daddy Freeze rightly said from the beginning, that some things don't make sense. Why would we argue so much for two hours and then we want to argue on something that the law would not accept? The law would not put the life of that child in any uncomfortable circumstances just we want, because we want to prove a point. No. What is the aftermath of that DNA? Do you know what it will cost that child? Do you know the stigma it will cost that child? Do you know what it will put that child in? The child God is going to look at all the aspects of that. And if they see that DNA is not going to be reasonable to the court because there's an underlying law that says that when people are married, legally married, there is no cause for any DNA. They will not do any DNA. But get me on another note. If they are not married, those are the DNA issues that the court always honors. When two people are not married and you request for a DNA, the court will agree with you. They will do it. But once there is a marriage, and in the subsistent time of their marriage, they were married, according to the court, the man has accepted paternity for that child, and they will not honor the DNA even after the guy has fight. That's just my position. You can go ahead, please. It's not my position, it's the position of the court. That's what I'm trying to explain. All right, Ify, can I have you? There's someone else there. Yeah, that is free. Yeah, um, can we see you? Yes, in one minute, please. Okay. <laughs> Let's just give her one minute. If you're watching on TikTok, double click the screen. Double click the screen if you're watching on TikTok. Uh, if you're watching on Facebook, bottom left hand corner, you will see how to buy my stars. 
Um, shout outs go to anyone who gets a thousand stars and above. If you're watching on Instagram, you can go to Facebook, search for Daddy Freeze, D A D D Y F R W E Z E. Bottom left hand corner, you'll see how to buy my stars. If you're watching on TikTok, follow my number one gifter. Follow my number one gifter on TikTok. Double click the screen, follow my number one gifter. Yes, go ahead, Ify. How are you? Daddy, please, yes, why do I exist? Just wait a little because she's a lawyer. So I want to hear her side of the story. Okay. And she practiced okay. in Nigeria and in Canada. So if we go ahead. Yeah, so um, I think, um, sorry, ma'am, what's your name? Uh, my, my name is Diola. Okay, so um, I think you're confusing the concept of legitimacy with DNA, with declaration of parentage. Mm. That's what you're mm. confusing. So, yeah, I'm listening to you. Yeah, I'm trying to catch my breath. I was running. <laughs> okay, catch your breath. Catch your breath. While you're catching your breath, catch your breath, catch your breath you. for one minute. Yeah. Double I'll click the screen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Follow my number one gift. Oh, yeah. Follow my number one gift. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. While it is catching her breath. While it is catching her breath. Follow my number one gift. Yes, right. That's right. Ali K70. Uh, pop my money guns. Let me see who the next person to pop my money guns would be. Pop, pop, pop those money guns. I took Baduna. Oh, yeah. Pop that money gun. Pop, 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 pop. Oh, yeah. Pop, 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 pop. pop. Follow my, my number one gifter. My number two gifter right now. Big shout out to Certified Fresh Prince. Oh, yeah. Follow my number one gifter. Ah, if you don't go, hey. Where is Ify? Oh. Ify, where will they wait? I have to go. Come and, to, come and explain to us. Can we have to leave okay, as wait, well? One second, you please don't go. Let me bring her back. If we cannot go. Oh, why did I allow her to catch her breath? So if you come with your breathlessness, <laughs> because I need you to, I need to have this conversation. GF, let the let the let the legal uh, let the legal um, personnel um, you know speak with each other because I wanted to come on the CPR matter to be honest. Just that when okay, I heard this part, I wanted to clarify okay. that thing. Okay, and like I said, back. I agree yes. with the legal. Um, all right, if you go and ahead. I, yes, I'm ready now. So um, the first thing I said was um. I think she's confusing the concept of legitimacy okay. with okay. of parentage. These are two different concepts under the law. So okay. the law is of the um, opinion that no child is born illegitimate. Okay. That's okay. What you're trying mm -hmm. to, that has nothing to do with declaration of parentage. And um, I also think that you are, perhaps this was what you studied while you were in school this was the law but we need to understand that the law grows with the growth of the people the law is not static it's a living science so you cannot say what the law was 10 years ago even if something could be the law yesterday and today it's no longer the law and um if when you studied law i'm sure you treated concepts like morality and the law they Sorry, are, are you really? a lawyer? Yes, I. Is she a lawyer? Yes. yes. Do you practice I'm law? Are lawyer. you a family lawyer? Yes, I am a family lawyer in Canada. So, in Canada, okay. So tell I'm, me when I'm, you want me. I'm, can I respond to her? Or should I wait for her to just, finish? Just let me. Um, okay. Just let me establish certain things before I get to that point. So the point is, um, there are certain things that, that the law follows. For instance, morality. If morality is not necessarily a crime, but if everyone stands up and says that if I wake up in the morning and I don't say good morning to my mom, which isn't a crime right now, that it's, it's a crime, the law will codify it. So that's the correlation between the law and the morality, for instance. My point is, I'm trying to make you understand that the law is not static. The law has to grow with the growth of the people. And if the majority of the people are asking for a DNA or a declaration of parentage to be sure that a child is their child, then you would not say, because I'm responding to the fact, the first thing you said, that DNA tests are not admissible. 
That's not true. Don't get me wrong. Under marriage, you can't Under ask for DNA when you are... I differentiated it. I, Let me clarify it. I just told you now that when two people are married, go and do your research. Okay. When okay. two people are in a marriage, I don't, I don't we're still it's talking right. about parentage or declaration. Okay, can you just mention so your you husband? Mean, you need to, what you are saying, you need to back it up by law. Please give me your precedence on what you are talking about. I've already mentioned Duru versus Duru, Ibiechi versus Ubiechi. These are laws that have been when I was there, and they are still what is going to be applied right now. The law has not changed from that time until that law changes. So you need to tell me what you are talking from, from your own precedence. Bring out that law that changes what I've said. Then I will agree with you 100%. Yes. And I have no case yes. again. I'm trying to explain yes. to you is that you're confusing the concept. No. You're putting the law of your precedence. You're out of quote. Like you're, you're not quoting the right law. What you're doing right now, because when you're quoting no, as a law student. No, but it with the law. Lawyers don't just talk on opinions. Because if you take a case before court, Bring out your case that backs what you are talking about. Backs if the law oh, has changed, let me know. No, excuse me, ma'am. Let me know the law that has changed. As far as I'm concerned, Duru versus Duru is still applicable. And it, they're still applicable. No, ma, that's not the answer to my question. Can you kindly answer what I asked you? I'm, I'm asking you no, about morality. Oh. Morality is not what the court bases it on. We know there is morality. The law is followed. The Nigerian law is comes from common law and is based on okay, precedence. So can if you there be... are laws that have been there. Hold on, hold on. Until that law one one is, one. maybe that law will be the I don't know. One by one. Okay, so I'm okay. going to give Ify two minutes to say what she wants to say. Don't interject each other because it's cutting off her audio. All right, Ify, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfect. Thank you, Daddy Freeze. So the point is. If you're asking for a DNA test, everyone would ask, even right now, I have several cases where I'm asking the court for a declaration of parentage. You ask for a declaration of parentage for a number of reasons. Like, like in countries like Canada, where you have to pay child support, you want to be sure that the child you're paying child support for is in fact your child. If you're not on the birth certificate of the child, you can ask for a declaration of parentage, right? There are situations where even the court will not even allow you to ask for a declaration of parentage. When you've stood in the place of a parent, it, it, the child doesn't have to be a biological child. You just need to have stood in the place of a parent in that child's life. And no one would say it's not your child. Now, if I'm to translate this to Mubad's case, Mobat stood in the place of a parent for his child. So no one can come and say, oh, he's not his child, we need a DNA. He should have been the one to determine if he needed a DNA or not. Or maybe the, 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 the family. But now he's even no longer here. And he said while he was living, he claimed this child as his child. So that's, that's not even the point where, because a lot of people have said what I wanted to say on the Mobat son's issue. But I specifically came on just to, I'm not saying that what you're saying is wrong. I just feel like it's slightly misleading and you, you, are, um, you are confusing the concept. You, you would not say that um, this is how it was 10 years ago. Like this, it, it all feels like academic exercise to me because when we go really into the law, there are situations where like my Igbo custom, my Igbo culture and custom where um, they had this, mm -hmm. Um, culture that a woman could go and marry um, another woman and um, the child that the other after after the husband is deceased she can go marry another woman and then they would the, the new wife after the, after her husband don't buy would now be um, would now go outside have children and they would say it's the children of, of the, the marriage the supreme Court of Nigeria, if I would have you know, said that that law is repugnant. And as a lawyer, you would also know that every law in Nigeria is, first of all, subject to the Constitution. Secondly, every custom and culture in Nigeria derives legitimacy 
from the constitution. It has to be judicially noticed by the courts of law for it to be a standing culture or custom. And to the extent of its inconsistency with, end, with, the, with, the Nigerian, with the Nigerian constitution, the law would become void. So I really don't understand. Like, I feel like you're, you're confusing the concept. DNA is something that's admissible under the law and will continue to be admissible. Whatever new technology comes out tomorrow and the majority of the people, because when I studied law, I studied it from the roots, like trying to understand the concept of lawyering holistically. That's what helps you. The law follows the people. Why did they say the law is, I don't want to say the word because they might be flagged, is a new. It follows the people. The law follows the people. It grows with the growth of the people. It's a natural science. If today everyone says, oh, we don't want light anymore because it, it causes cancer, it will be codified, trust me. So you cannot really say, oh, because, well, anyway, that is free. I think my two minutes are up. I'm just going to let it go. Okay, okay. Gonna... Stick around and let's hear from her. Okay. Over to you, my dear sister. Go oh, ahead. Thank you. You know, I don't have so much time. Oh, is it her or me? No. You. Uh, Gambia. Me. Wait, let no, the lawyers. The then lawyers are talking. Yes, well, let me leave. I wanted to talk about... Wait, I wanted to talk on. about health care. Well, this is not my the field. fire out very quickly, so just calm down. You okay, said, sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. You said mm -hmm. that... um. The law and um, the customary law is backed by the constitution. I do not disagree with you, but there is hierarchy in laws all over the world. There is no law that is above the Supreme Court in any country. Any law or case that the Supreme Court has sat upon supersedes any law. In fact, customary law is below beneath is the starting point you still have the high court or the uh what's it called circuit court they call it in the u.s here then you have the appeal court then you have supreme court duru versus duru is a supreme court case that was ruled upon it supersedes all your customary court or whatever and i ask you my dear i would raise my hand for you if you give me the precedence that nullifies duru versus duru i will shut my mouth and leave it then i will go and do my research to know that that law has changed i rest my case hey okay hey um, uh, social media court <laughs> um, <laughs> they bust your brain <laughs> hold on um, oh yeah if he responds yeah. so, where's um, my where's that thing i'm going to knock him up on and i'm going to me because i never said that um like you're basically rehashing what i said because i obviously said to you that every law derives derives its legitimacy from the constitution and for you to operate as a law you have to be consistent with the provisions of the, of the constitution then you went ahead and quoted me to have said customary courts. I said nothing regarding customary courts. I said customs and cultures. That was what I said. And I said that your customs and your culture have to be judicially noticed. So your argument regarding um, Supreme Court makes no sense here and i think again really lawyers in the house I, please come can I finish? please I, think... I don't have time i have to go right now um, no. all you're doing is just um no like you said academic rehearsal or whatever that's not what i'm doing you everybody all over the world knows about judicial precedence bring out the case let me shut up just to know that that law has changed all the people i want, want to know the precedence I please don't, don't respond to things like that you have to tell oh, really as a lawyer Oh yeah, Daddy Fuse. Thank you so much. I have to go, please. Please, can anybody, if you know Duru as Duru okay, so and Duru as lawyer in the house, please let me know. Thank you. Gavel. Lawyers, will come Thank you, sister, for your thank you so much. I'm not here to argue. You know, I myself, if it's possible, if anybody wants to do the DNA, but I'm just here to just explain the standard of the law to you. Are you a practicing lawyer? Because it feels like you're outdated. 
you can be quoted. Why are you? Why look at you? Why are you taking this person? No, that is you see I'm that this person is trying to. You see, we are talking hey, about education. Why are you trying to be insultive? What, what is all this? You are so petty. That is you from this life, please. I will not. But I would not um, come continue, come continue with this. I would not. That if she hasn't practiced law, I don't even think she has practiced law all her life. Oh, yeah, because oh, what she said, yeah, no, no, but she was making a lot of sense from my understanding. Uh, she, she made, I like I said, I cannot, I'm not a lawyer, I cannot, not legitimacy, not DNA test. So that I, I was trying not to floor her, just to, I was trying to be respectful and just say, You're confusing the concepts, but she just kept on, you know, going okay. and then lawyers the goes, in the house. If you are a lawyer, let me. Bring you DF. in lawyer in the house. DF, my two learned colleagues, <laughs> they did very okay. well. All right, let me hear from I you defer from to them. While we're waiting for Wait, the next lawyer. I talk small. I defer to both of them clearly. They are both lawyers. I hear what they are saying, and I think I trump both of them because. I said at the beginning, I agree with Madame that just left actually, and I actually said that if you play this back, you hear me. If she's arguing on that, her marriage law, clinical, you know, and all that, we're talking about a, crimin a possible criminal investigation. And it's the prerogative of the police to decide that if they want to clear the wife, if at all they decide. They have a right to say, let us find out what could possibly be the reasons why this person might be a suspect and might have a hand in deleting her spouse. Remember? Forget about who is involved now. A wife deleting her spouse. There might be many reasons. What are the evidences there? Oh, we heard there's a recording of them having a terrible fight where the man was pro uh, professed the, oh, you want to delete me. Yes, people say they know why he said that. The police don't know why he said that. So to clear the woman, they might say, hmm, is it possible that there's more problem in this marriage? And they might then decide, you know what? Let's clear this lady. First of all, are they okay as a, as a couple? Is the child a child? Does the woman have financial dealings? Does she have a hand in the man's property? You know, they do so many things. A DNA might Robert, then come based on criminal investigation. Femi, Femi, Femi is not a lawyer. Okay. <laughs> uh, I can't see you again. Though. Okay. Let me see. There's somebody there. Yeah, I can see you, but I can't see Ify. Ify. she's gone all right i'm bringing her back all right we have this couple here i, I it looks like they're both lawyers right yes today is nigerian law day as i quiet see that if he's dead too yeah, what you know, it's not easy to bring plenty lawyer like this. So some of you have never lawyer in your own life. Double click this thing. Buy my money gone. Follow my number one gift card. Uh -huh. Back to my lawyers. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Good, thank you, Dad. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So let me hear, hear you guys. All right. Um, Daddy Freeze, my name is Babato Nyo Akbadola. Uh, I, by special grace of God, I was the last legal advisor to the MBA Portacourt branch. Um, I'm, I'm now based in the UK. Um, I think um, the other woman from the US, uh, like the, the uh, other lawyer, the Canadian, one the Canadian uh, lawyer rightly said that she's confusing the concept. Hey. Now, no, I, would, I would want... Hey! Yeah. I would, <laughs> Look, I would want... I would want the uh, U.S. lawyer to go and read the case of Musa Sadao and the state. In Musa Sadao and the state, the, the summary of uh, the decision was the effect that even if the evidence was stolen, it is admissible as regards mm -hmm. criminal proceedings. So in, in criminal investigation, the police have all, all the rights to conduct detailed investigation, whether it is DNA, so long as it is relevant. She should also 
know that relevancy is the bedrock of admissibility in our in our court in Nigeria. So let us stop confusing the concept of legitimacy, legitimacy and in family law to criminal investigation. It is it is as simple as ABC. Because criminal is this investigation. What the court needs to establish is the mens rea, which is the criminal mind, and the actus reus, which is the physical, actual physical carrying out of you know the key, the the buying of the person and all of that. So how do you establish the mens rea, which is the criminal mindset, which is the mindset of the pe perpetrator? It is to find out circumstances which would have led to you having such thoughts, such intentions. So how do you know that? For example, if they carry out a DNA test, they could start other investigations. Nobody, no stone is left no, unturned yeah. when it comes to criminal mm -hmm. investigation. And this is a homicide, this is a homicide suggestion by people that this is this was not this person did not die of natural causes so coming to say talking talk, talking about marita marriage this is not a civil litigation marriage and parental and all those things are civil litigation based but this is in a criminal investigation everything is relevant everything is relevant so if you watch crime scenes you will see how investigations are done so there's no basis for her to say and really the canadian lawyer she was really going on it and she was very she was being very diplomatic but there's no point being too diplomatic so that you don't mislead other people because people who do not know this yeah. will be misled and will feel oh she's saying the correct which is not correct yeah mm. then um, um just 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 to just to um um cap it all uh I think uh, the uh, Canadian lawyer um, ought not to have, um, you know, um, used uh, um, uh, such words on uh, uh, Leonard well, Colley. Um, which one, please? We, I'm, I'm yes. open to correction. Oh, she's there. Yes. Yeah, yes. she's there. Yeah, yeah. mm. <laughs> you understand the concept of decorum. We exhibit decorum anywhere we are, both, both in uh, whether, whether you are in a, a party whether you are you are you are in a function, the concept of decorum and fit and proper applies to all lawyers anywhere you find yourself. So, um, well, you have made your point, which uh, was a very valid point. But um, uh, resorting to that um, line of uh, you know, no, uh, which one in particular? Statement. Sorry to cut like, you short because. Yeah, yeah. Research is outdated. Yes. Like something like this. Oh, yes, yes. Something like outdated. Oh. Yes. I can't remember. Okay. Okay. There are yeah, other have... ways to. Okay. There are other ways to pass my your, brother, your comment. My brother, you know? Chris, all three lawyers in the house. Chris, can you greet your sister? Please try for me. Greet me small. You know why? why? My papa and my dad try now. They paid. They paid our school yes. fees. We rest small. Yeah. I'm not a lawyer, but I still remember small things. Wasn't yeah. I right about the criminal aspect? Before you. Oh. Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Daddy, yeah, no, Daddy, 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 Daddy Freeze. Daddy Freeze. Daddy Freeze, you're employed. When, when I, I, I listened to you and I was saying Daddy Freeze is even teaching the lawyer. The US from lawyer. The US. Oh, US. Oh, in fact, I was embarrassed. I was embarrassed. So, so I, I told my wife, I said, please, can I, can I, can I just say one or two things? I mean, let's defend our constituents. <laughs> that Daddy Freeze will not take wow. all the. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, so I need to um, say one thing too. Sometimes I get that um, my responses can be animated. Like it's, it was yeah. really nothing. It was like I could have still said the same thing to her calmly. And I, I yeah, I know that This is just my normal response. Like, yeah, I'm, I feel like I'm usually animated when I'm saying things. Even when I'm in the courtroom, I would first of all yeah. tell the judge that. I, I might I, I might look a bit animated, but that's just me. So I wasn't being rude to her. And apologies if it felt mm -hmm. like I was being rude to her. But this is just me on a normal day. I wasn't being rude to her. And um, yeah. I I honestly 
I held myself from the moment that the freeze was broken. I know. I know. I know. Yeah, yeah, I held myself. I know. Yeah, I was already so I almost threw my I always almost threw my phone away. <laughs> yeah. Because she was saying, give me, give me my wig, girl, oh, please. When <laughs> you <laughs> give me my wig. Guru and Guru is not the same. You see? It's not the same thing. Mm-hmm. It does not apply. Yeah. Guru versus Guru does not apply here. Exactly. And he was not talking I about Now, let me now like, tell you guys something here. Yeah. I was I felt that I was right. But the American lady came and established that she was a lawyer and then I now felt I was wrong because I can't know a law more than a lawyer. Yeah. So I took the back step. <laughs> and to be honest, if the two of you had not come, I was going to call Ifi out of after this and say Ifi, that woman was right, you were wrong. <laughs> that is so what Jeff, you did not believe me. If he's my sister, I'm very close to her. So that's yeah. the con, con, uh, that's what is going on in the comment section. Everybody's like, if he doesn't know anything, if he doesn't, until two lawyers now came and now say, wow. So if he, so you see, sometimes eh, when you go to school to read book, <laughs> you will no matter how right or wrong it looks to the layman. And yes. I've learned something from a young age. You cannot argue law with a lawyer. Yes. You can suggest, you can inquire, you can, yeah. to a possible extent, maybe even debate. But you can't argue law with a lawyer. So I, I took the, the back mm. step. And, and next time I'm, I'm going to interrogate because I felt that if there's a motive, I understand the principle of motive. If a yeah. motive is established, if they can establish a motive against you, the if motive. a motive, yeah. mm-hmm. things that are very important in a spy investigation, alibi, mm-hmm. motive. Yeah. Yes. Uh, mm-hmm. If you have an alibi and you don't have a motive, you are not a suspect. But when okay. you have a motive, even if you have an alibi, you are still, so, well, you don't have an alibi, you have a motive you. finish. You have to clear yeah. My mother is a professor of law. Yeah. But some things are also common. My sister is a lawyer too. And if it is, you were too, you were right. I was almost, I was almost, <laughs> I was looking for how to just enter and stop the US woman. Thank God, please help us. Go. Go. <laughs> this is like year one law. <laughs> <laughs> don't lose it. Maybe that's why I was upset. Me, I can't the word. You say, which kind of law school if you come go? I don't doubt you finish your law. I didn't finish this. Thank God you guys came home. And you know, this is like the very bedrock. Of lawyer, mm-hmm. this is year one law. Hey, when you get to understand exactly. this concept, and that's why maybe I was upset with her because it, it is it is very elementary. Yeah. Exactly, it's very, very, it is elementary. very elementary. Maybe that's why. Maybe I was that's upset. why we even Bring know it a bit of her. it. I think so. That's one. Mm. But thank God you, mm. you guys came because. Ah, uh, <laughs> don't worry, nice for my life. I'll be done abandon you, you if I'll be done the go. Daddy, please, you know me. I want I'm to very to call you after that. That's mm. come. Don't you know how to do care work in that? Because I know you're saying. Daddy, please, God for that Canada. I was worried. <laughs> and let me tell you one thing: if it was animated, yes. so she tended to look like. She was childish. The other woman was speaking authoritatively. So she told yeah. me, I thought she was right. I swear. <laughs> I didn't expect what I didn't the think she, you said. She was right, I'll be honest. I just wanted to be respectful. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But, but no, because I knew that the thing was, was, that thing came from it, somewhere now. They taught us now. Yeah. I have to say, yeah, I was worried. Me, I was worried. You said that I was worried. If it's Canadian loud. That if they've insulted my life, like, but it's okay, it's okay. We are lucky you've been redeemed. Yeah, we've all learned. We've all learned something tonight. Yeah. We've all learned. Let's be more, let's be more, honest yeah. about it. We've learned more, something because they all just went at me, and then me, I was like, whatever. I know I'm mm. right. He's the one who is no. wrong, right. But I was yeah. telling you now. Because while you were saying I could recognize those things, I remember reading yeah, them now. We went try. to school now. No, so I kept doing like this so that you might like, you know. You know? Yeah. <laughs> could this be the same thing that is happening to Naira Mali? It could be. Everybody, be? everybody he, because he looks like he's really, mm. really, really, really deep in the in this mix. I, I, mm. I want to sound off lawyers. So the three lawyers in the house, 
please okay, what daddy, are your me, thoughts let me about say something naira mali and the, the general investigation of this particular matter what are your okay. thoughts so um i was coming back from the courthouse two days ago mm -hmm. and my sister-in-law called me and we're talking about this mobile issue and i said well um naramali, naramali sure does look suspicious but right now the only evidence we have is evidence of assault and bullying mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. all we have right now mm -hmm. that could establish a motive even what he said in his um music video could establish a motive for why yeah. and him and uh, mobile music um the record label could establish a motive for naramali wanting to hurt him but we don't have concrete evidence we don't have hard facts you know to prove that he actually did it or he got an agent to do it on his behalf because whether you commit a crime yourself or you get someone to commit a crime for you it's the same so right now we don't have that evidence and i would refrain from you know making conclusions because if a thorough investigation is done it could come out to prove that somebody entirely different did it for an entirely different motive that can happen we don't have the facts we don't have all the facts it's too early honestly it's early days for anyone to conclusively say that this person does, um, did that or this person did not do that. But does Naramali look suspicious? He definitely does look suspicious. Okay. But did he do it? We don't, okay. right now, we don't know. The jury is still out on that. We don't know. Okay. So, so that is true. My, please introduce yourself, Ma. He introduced himself. Okay. So my name is on, on Instagram, it's Mommy Hope Thomas. Mm, nice to meet you, Ma. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, so in law, suspicion, no matter how grave, cannot grant conviction. And the best that and the best that that and the best we have seen with naira mali um is circumstantial evidence yeah. hmm. yeah. it's circumstantial evidence okay. we all have that feeling we all have that nudge we all feel terrible about what has happened and what the bullying and all of that but it cannot it is not sufficient so rather than the court give granting a conviction based on all this circumstantial evidence the court would rather that one innocent one um what rather than guilty. rather than convict one guilty man one innocent person the court will set free 99 guilty persons mm. yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's why the police has work to do yeah that is why it's a yeah. problem. so and we understand and we already understand how the how the police in nigeria work mm. so Somebody it is not to discourage anybody i love that <laughs> <laughs> so it is not so 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 we we they could be he could be cancelled in other areas <laughs> but for a natural conviction i don't see that happening mm. i'm just saying like because i am like more like i am foreseeing because of all of the evidence that has come up and and there's no confessional statement anywhere there's no eyewitness there is nothing we are seeing so far oh. so and of course social media is not the courtroom so when you get to the courtroom it is the, it is a preponderance of evidence that is presented before the court that it is and it is the weight it is and it has to be proved Pro beyond, beyond reasonable, reasonable doubt. doubt so if there is any iota of oh. doubt the, it, it will be resolved in favor of the accused Thank person you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey! Yeah. Now! Hey! hey. Sorry, I, I, I didn't plan, but since I have so many lawyers in, in the house... Just agree, fine, because what you're saying finally, is the truth. Finally, um, we have 
we've always heard that the people's parliament or the 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 public court the opinion <clears throat> of the public court is yeah. not valid but in, in this situation the opinion of the public court or the court of public opinion has actually led to a conviction mm -hmm. let me explain tv stations mm -hmm. have dropped naira mali songs oh. that is already like this a judgment has been passed by the court of public opinion mm -hmm. he lost, lost half a million followers within two weeks which is mm -hmm. punitive yes. in my opinion mm -hmm. he's been punished because he's been convicted by the court of public opinion at yeah. what stage because right now the court of public opinion 30 years ago when all you could do was protest on the street or react to a newspaper is different from now when every single human on earth has a voice. Yes. As long as you have a mobile phone, you have a voice. Yeah. And your numbers can guarantee impact. They've dropped Naira Mali's music from uh, TV stations, mm -hmm. from radio stations. Mm -hmm. um, his label was blacklisted. That is actually a conviction, if you ask me. He's, he's being punished. Mm -hmm without mm -hmm. getting the judgment of a competent court it was just done online so at what stage do we begin to merge the court of public opinion as directed by the electronic media of 2023 with the real and regular courts Anybody? that is my answer my mm -hmm. answer to that would be never we should be very very careful about merging yeah. the um the the conviction in the court of um public opinion with conviction in the real court you know mm. why because there's that um there's a possibility of um error there's a po possibility yeah. of mob mentality there's a reason why in jury trials juries are sequestered there's a reason that is done because they are trying to make sure and even during the ju jury selection, you would ask questions like, yes. have you heard anything about this case? Because you're trying to, it's, it's, it's hard to, to eliminate doubt. It's mm -hmm. hard to eliminate bias. But if you ask these questions, you can at least limit the exposure that your jury, people who will be deciding somebody's fate, have had to it matter because sometimes what is out there is not always the truth and we have to be yeah. very very careful about because like right now everyone he looks suspicious everyone thinks that he's done it and we could come out tomorrow except there's you know concrete evidence linking him to the death of Mubad. Uh. like she said every is circumstantial there's no direct evidence right now there could be tomorrow and that's why we have to let the police to conduct their investigation okay my battery is about to die please, i don't know how one. we're going to laugh please so boss sneak in this question Quick one hold no, on please. don't say anything Quick yet one. because this is a very important oh, okay sorry go on. Go on, go on. Can Naira go on. Mali legally sue the radio and the tv stations that are blacklisting his music um, they would have a defense because yeah. um, they could say that this was done because he was a perpetrator of bullying. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm. So, oh, you must give. So. Yeah, because I told my sister-in-law, I said, well, whatever he's getting, let's take it that for me as a lawyer and the way I like to think, I'm like, okay, maybe that's punishment for bullying. But I'm and not I wanted saying to go for DS premise. Yes, it's DS premise that this is actually punished. Uh, this is actually a conviction. Yeah, that thing is a result. And I said, actually, I don't agree. It's not for the conviction. It's not a conviction. It's not for the it is punishment for what we can see as see. protracted bullying, physical assault, which yeah, we, yeah. the people, have an evidence exactly. for. And so we are snubbing him. Exactly. We, we are snubbing humans, him for that. We as humans, we have, that, we have that code of conduct. Like you can't do this. You can't yeah. do that. And then when we come exactly. together and stand with one voice and say, no, you can't bully someone this way, and we're refusing to listen to your music, 